no idea. None. Alright, that's a sewing machine box, a little stand. Oh. And then the stand has been turned into something else. And oh, okay. I bought the thing, and the guy said the machine's in there. And, uh, it's locked up. Somebody's gonna be able to pick it up and then I don't know if you have to be able to sew. Oh, okay. I got you. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That thing's neat. I don't think I've ever seen a clamp that big, actually. Yeah. How much are you asking for the clamp? Well, let's see. I was at 10 bucks yesterday. Where are you at today? Well, yeah, that's where I start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to come back and raise a blow for the fun part. We know yard sounds as good as I do. Oh. Hey, 10 bucks? I'll do five on it. About seven. Seven? I'll do it for seven. No talking, see that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> you sold me on the claim. What else can you sell me? Ah, see you got that pocketbook in there. You know it's say if you can get them to hold in the hand they bought it. That's right. Right. I get touchy. I do like that old uh that old glove right here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that'll make some money. Let's see if we get you up to nine and then she can find a dollar item. There you go. Alright, we're up to nine. Find a dollar item. We got and how many wood pieces? Yeah, four for a dollar. Four for a dollar? Yeah. Let's see how many you got. Oh, what? I can't tell that. She can't. This is a cool, uh, old Polaroid. Oh, that is cool. It's actually in pretty good condition. I don't know how old it would be. It's pretty neat, though. This one is? Get out of here. Shh. See, we're going. It's all got to go today. It's really rough. Nothing goes back in there. Yep. Well, if you don't find a dollar item, I found enough this. This one's pretty neat looking, too. So much more to filter. How much were you on the box? Twenty-five. I'll do five bucks. Five bucks for the whole box. Yeah. All right. Hard looking at it. All right. Gets us up fifteen, don't? It? Yeah, I can sell it. This is how Bill Gates did it. You that's get true. Five bucks from everybody. That's right. Pretty soon you get two more mine count. That's that's a hundred percent. So we up to now? We're up to fifteen bucks. Fifteen dollars. All right. The door. Let me uh, go over here and lay this clamp down. Yeah. See, I grew up in Panama City. I'm kind of used to the beach culture, but it's a whole different view. It's even crazier now. And busy. Yeah. So busy. Well, you can probably sell it, but it's It's a uh, little record. Player, yeah, oh, I the play. wrong cord with it. Hmm. Lost the cord. Need a amp power. Nice. Just in case, yeah. What you had on the record player? I've done 15 since 15. the wrong cord. Yeah. Now, you ever seen a wine chiller? You put your bottle in here and the ice goes on that side? He's actually a pretty decent because a lot of people lose them. Yeah. For solves. Where we at now? We're at 16. You taking a urine sample? 17? 18? We're getting there. We're getting there. Two more. Alright, I found Ooh. me something. That's a dollar item. We need uh, a couple more dollars. Four more. Get a whole twenty. Hey, I got something. That, right, where you live? It's a martini pitcher, a little miniature. You're in specimen bottle. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. Huh? Probably not a year old. That's old one now. Wow. Oh. Take it off. 
Because I've been washing them. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't drink that. Yeah, yeah, thermometer. Yeah, that's all right, yeah. Just make sure you do that, yeah. That's collectible. Several people pick that up and recommend it a lot. You talk about sinking the car up. Yeah, exactly. Christine, you taking a urine sample 17, 18? We're getting there. Getting there. Good You're more. in luck. You get to eat the potatoes. Take those two. We're up to 20. All right. Deal. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. No, it's painless. Painless. This is for me. <laughs> there Thanks, you go. Sir. I appreciate it. Good luck. Good travels. All right, we are back from the 127. As you can tell, we are actually in my garage. And this was one of the last yard sales that we stopped at, which was on a Sunday morning. And it doesn't look like we got a lot, but we got all this for 20 bucks. And that guy was hilarious. We actually were about ready to leave and he then talked about this clamp and uh, we'll talk about that in a second that's what drew me into buying a whole bunch of other stuff that I overlooked in the very beginning so let's go ahead I guess we'll start right with the clamp this right here is a Cincinnati tools 60 inch clamp now all the pieces are there that's there this is here now this has got to be cleaned up a little bit because right now like this is rusted a little bit but it's overall in decent condition and a 60 inch clamp is just literally insane space clamp I've ever seen and uh, this right here it, one went for bid for 90 bucks plus shipping. I honestly think after I clean it up, and it does, you know, it functions. It's not like everything's all rusted together. I think I can probably get $100 plus shipping, even maybe a little bit more. I'm going to list it super high because there's not many of these that are listed on eBay right now, and they're all sold. So right there, this is in pretty high demand. Another tool right here that you always want to look out for, this is a Craftsman. This goes to like a miter saw. And the cool thing about these is there's usually going to be a part number on the inside right there. So all you have to do is just type in Craftsman and that part number and it will bring it up on eBay. And right here, this one's nice because it has an aluminum handle. It's an older one. And this one right here goes for about $20 to $25 plus shipping. So this should cover everything and everything else is profit. So already we've made probably about 100 bucks on this deal. This I just thought this was really cool and I think he only charged me 2 bucks for it. And this is an old Spalding glove. Not a whole bunch of worth here. It just really looks cool. I would think that this would be more of obviously like a decorative piece am I putting on their shelf. And uh, maybe about 10 bucks. Then Kayla picked up these two really cool bracelets i think they're worth about five dollars a piece so ten dollars total this right here if you ever see these and get these for like 50 cents or a dollar these are the yeti rambler 30 ounce little um handles and they are actually the ones from yeti and they go for a lot more money than just the generic ones and this one right here probably like five to six bucks plus shipping but that's not bad if you can pick it up for 50 cents these right here are filters and I walked by these and he only did like $5 basically for the entire box. Now if you scan the barcode down there, it goes for about $5 free shipping for each, which would be $125 free shipping. Then Kayla got these really cool urine specimen bottles. Obviously they look like they're old. And these do sell really well. There's a, we'll probably sell them all together because we got three of them. They're the exact same. And they sell for about $9 to $10 a piece. So if they go for about $10 a piece plus shipping, that's like 30 bucks right there. So that ain't too bad. And that's about some stickers that has arrived. Now, on the last couple of shows, uh, obviously we've been out of town, so we just checked our P.O. box today. And some of these stickers, actually, I'm going to run through all of them real quick because some of them, the videos were cut because of our music thing that happened. So not a big deal, but we're going to run through a whole bunch of them real quick. I don't think that I talked about Trip Pickers. Thank you so much. And the Nostalgia Squad, thank you so much for sending that sticker to me. Uh, we got the Mount Rushmore. We got the Busted Button Old School. And then the new ones that came in is are from Carla. Mountain Last Merchantile, a mountain of goods at good prices. And thank you so much for Joe at Not So Slim Picking. Again, uh, we're going to also send you a sticker, and so are we going to send to Carla. So I really appreciate everybody that's been sending us stickers. Remember, we're trying to fill this entire thing up. And if you send me a sticker, the P.O. box is down below. I'll send you one back. Also, I want to go ahead and thank Tony for sending this to me. Uh, this is a real red line. So he told me that basically use this as a, you know, if I ever see another one to compare it and I can already see the difference. So definitely this is a real red line Hot Wheels. And if you watched that video before I was wrong in what I was saying, I appreciate this as a guide and I really do appreciate it. Again, we just checked our PO box. So thank you very much. So if you're in the channel, welcome. My name is Julian. Also is the Beard of the Machine here on YouTube. I buy stuff, flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. Uh, what you just saw was 
another video from the 127 out in Tennessee. At the very end, I think there's going to be two more videos. We have enough footage for two more. The last day on Sunday was our by far the best day, the best deals. And uh, that's where we actually made all of our money. So at the end of like this little series, which is probably going to be in one or two videos, I will go down and tell you what we actually thought of it and would we ever do it again and everything like that. So because I'm still going through the stuff that we bought, we had a slightly little bit of uh, engine trouble on the way back, but it all worked out. So that's why I'm, I had a couple people message me like, hey, where's the video from the 127? Because I didn't post one, I think, on Sunday. And uh, we just had some issues, but we're back home safe and we're going to get more videos out. I do appreciate everybody that watches. Remember, if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, comment down below, like the video. That really helps the channel out. You know I will always get you.